Blitzwing has been a bit of a heated debate. Ever since the stolen copies got reviewed and now the stock images are out, it's caused a huge debate and a split in the Transformers community. And I know whatever ends up happening in this video, it will cause some debate, whatever my opinion is or whatever your opinion is, doesn't matter. So I urge everyone to treat each other and their opinions with respect in the comments or anywhere really, because at the end of the day, it's their opinion and has no effect on your life. Now, Blitzwing, while I pre-ordered the new one, like I'm very excited for the new one, I have some reservations. I'm sure it's gonna be a fun toy regardless because a lot of people thought the same about Astro Train and now everyone tells me that Astro Train's really, really good, so I have to get one. And I'm sure I'll like Blitzwing a lot, but there are some things that people have issues with. One of them is the size because he's a leader, but like, I'm okay with it. Leader isn't a size anymore. It's about parts count, engineering, articulation, etc. And Blitzwing has a lot of steps and is a very well articulated and involved toy. So I'm completely fine with how much it costs for what you get. People are now scrambling to find the Titans Return ones and DX9 versions. So before I trade mine to my buddy Nick, let's see what I think of this figure before I get the legacy one. Well, I have two of this mold, so that's, that's saying something. This is the Titans Return Blitzwing and the Takara Legends Megatron slash Archforce, depending on whatever you want to call them. And I do like this mold, but I have some issues with it. And triple changers always suffer from having one mode get shafted, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So how's the robot mode? Well, he has these weird shoulder things that I just fold away because I don't like them, so they're gone, Bye bye The bot mode does look pretty good though. Ignoring the stickers for a second, it looks pretty neat. The proportions are a bit off though. The arms are very beefy and the legs are super skinny, but it does also sell him as like a big brute, so it's a win-lose. I'm not a fan of the huge gray sections, like these bits on the sides or the thighs, and it just generally doesn't look great to me. I don't like that gray color. It makes the toy feel a bit unfinished. It's a nice size though. It's an old Voyager, so it keeps to that larger size and stands tall and proud on a display. But the Megatron version here stands much louder in a display, because look at it. This version still carries over that ugly gray I don't like, which is a shame but I really love this purple. It helps not only stand out, but to me, it just feels better than the Titans Return one. Like the plastic on the genuinely feels better on the Legends one. Not saying that the TR one is bad by any stretch. It's just the Legends one just feels better. I don't know if it's the paint that they used or the actual plastic is different because these are both manufactured in the same factory essentially. It just feels nicer. The tolerances are also much better too. The wings actually stay on and aren't covered in hideous stickers. The chest has multiple sticker options. I don't know which one to use though. And the fusion cannon part is actually, I actually think that looks really neat. I like it. It's not broken like my other G2 Megatron. It's a retool. The head is different. The chest is different, but there's are probably the same bits as the standard Megatron Titans Return toy. So I don't have that one. So I can't really judge that. He also comes with this little guy that does all sorts of things like stand there, stand there again, and become a gun. Yay. I just kind of leave this little fangry looking thing off to the side. Going back to Blitzwing though, let's look at the official images of the new one and the Titans Return one and I'll talk about what I think. I much prefer the robot mode on the Legacy version in comparison to the Titans Return one. The proportions just feel nicer, it looks a lot more solid, the robot looks more filled out, and something about the Titans Return one. Like that gray makes it look unfinished, but the whole toy just feels a little unrefined to me in robot mode. And the new one doesn't look like that. I was gonna get Blitzwing regardless of how it turned out in Legacy, but it looks really, really cool to me and I'm excited for it. I'm excited for October when it releases. But what about the other modes? Well, first let's do the articulation before I forget. Posing on this mold is pretty all right. The there's no wrists, no waist joint, no ankle pivots, wonky elbows. Okay, maybe it's not all right, it's passable. The knees on both my copies of this mold like to come apart when bending them, they like to untab. And the sideways elbow joint I really wish had a locking point, but it's okay. I also wish the head had a little bit more of a range of motion, but that's just a limitation of the Titan Master gimmick itself. So that gets a little bit of a pass for me. It's overall the posing is just eh. We'll do jet mode first. Transformation is very interesting. The way you tidy up the arms and then just swing the entire assembly around to each side, tab them in. It's a really unique take on Blitzwing. The nose cone is painted though, so you have to be careful when getting it out of the front section on Blitzwing because you could scratch it. On Megatron, I don't think it's painted because it doesn't feel painted. It feels like it's a cast purple plastic piece, so there isn't that much of an issue there on Megatron. Jet mode. Well, it's triple changer, so one of the modes is going to get shafted, and this is the one that feels like it really did get shafted. It's not bad by any means, but it's not great either. 
Making a triple changer at a $30 price point is a bit difficult. Things are going to be sacrificed like the articulation and a mode, for example. But with that in mind, this is not that bad at all. I mean, it's no Gewalt, but that's also a $200 toy, and this is not a fair comparison. I do think the jet here looks pretty messy at the bottom, but when you look at the Megatron variant, it's the exact same toy. But because most of it is purple, it blends in very well to make the alt mode look a lot cleaner. The tank barrel is just hanging out the bottom there on the Megatron, it's smaller, but you can technically just remove it and that actually looks a lot nicer. The stickers though, oh god, they suck so much. The Legends one just uses paint and it looks a hell of a lot nicer than these ugly ass foil stickers Prime Wars use. I don't know who okayed those stickers, but they're garbage. You can also store the Titan Master in the cockpit, which is really cool, all things considered. Like, I like the way that that, I just like the way that that's an actual thing. It's nice. It's a lot nicer than the new one. The, it's, the new one is just a huge mess under the jet. There had to be an easier way to get that to tuck away, but my theory on the matter is, and this is looking at it from a business perspective, people were going to get upset regardless of what they did, about the size, about all the other stuff. It's not the size of a leader, but a Voyager. But that's not the point of leaders anymore. But they know people will get upset if they just pitched it as a leader and it was smaller than Galvatron. So they packed some stuff in to make the price feel worth it, those big laser hand things. I would have preferred if that budget for the fists had gone to the engineering to make the jet tuck under a little bit more. But then people, even though with that MP level of engineering that they would have put in there, would still complain. So it's a lose-lose, like I really couldn't see how they could have gotten out of that other than making it a different size class entirely and charging an extra $10. But that's why I think the jet looks the way it does. It's a shame because they could have taken the money they took to the, put to the fists and cleaned up that alt mode and made it look a lot nicer. But as it stands now, the jet mode of the new Blitzwing is definitely the weakest part for me. Getting the toys into tank mode is again, very interesting. Not only does everything swing back around, but I also love how the wings wrap around the toy to form the back end. The cockpit tucks away very nicely, and that will be important later too. All to form this pretty cromulent tank. It looks really neat. I have some issues with it, such as the colors. This beige they use isn't the best in general, and it looks very sloppy. Like the color separation kind of feels knockoffy in a sense. Not super knockoffy, but it doesn't feel complete. And the front is beige and the back is purple. Like triple changers to me change color when they change their mode. Like Astro Train who becomes mainly purple to mainly gray. This guy goes from mainly purple to half and half. And I'm not the biggest fan of the half and half. And I think the turret is too dinky on this tank. Megatron though, on the other hand, this looks outstanding in tank mode. The fusion cannon looks a lot better as the cannon on the turret. The paint and the color is more unified. It doesn't do the color changing thing, but it stays unified throughout which i think helps a lot in the vehicle mode plus the little bits of silver and lighter purple and the blue really really help they're a color scheme that matches better to my eye than the beige and purple that blitzwing has even my family likes the megatron toy more than blitzwing and it's just those colors they make or break this mode for me and blitzwing's a break and megatron's a make like megatron is my favorite of the two toys they can both seat their titan masters in the turret although he feels a bit exposed one quick car 98 scope to the head and they've just gone. But how does this tank stack up to the new one? Well, the new one has this penis just hanging out the front there and that show accurate to a certain point. It's also toy accurate, I guess, but I'm okay with it. I don't mind it in all honesty. It really is the only drag I have on the tank mode because the rest of the tank looks really great, very solid. It looks more streamlined than this version. It looks a little bit more realistic in its proportions than this version. I just like it a lot more. It looks chunkier, it's more like a brick, while the Titan's Return one is a little on the flimsy side and kind of matches more towards a pancake than a brick. At the end of the day, I'm still gonna own both while I'm giving my buddy Nick Blitzwing. I'm keeping Megatron and I'll have the Legacy Blitzwing, which make sure you're subscribed. I'm going to make an in-depth comparison between the two toys when I get Legacy Blitzwing. So yeah, you don't wanna miss that. But yeah, what are your thoughts? Do you prefer Legacy or Titan's Return? Hell, even Thrilling 30. Or are you gonna wait like me and see what's gonna happen with the Legacy one? Let me know in the comments below. As for me, I think this mold's all right. It asks for way too much sometimes on the secondary market, but if you can find Blitzwing for like 30 bucks, I'd say go for it. For a $30 Voyager, it's pretty all right, but I definitely recommend the Megatron more. He's just a much nicer toy to mess with. It feels more solid, it feels more sturdy. It's The plastic feels more dense and weighty. 
it the colors to me are just nicer he doesn't have those ugly foil stickers it's just a nicer it, it's a nicer time the megatron I, i've found anyways and i picked this guy up for about 50 bucks which i think was his retail price back in the day so i definitely recommend getting him if you can find him for that much sealed because it's a lot of fun but that's been my look at titan's return blitzwing follow me on twitter and instagram and i'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>